Hey there, you must be the new volunteer. Welcome to Camo Palma. Here, let me give you a hand out of the boat. I'll be a little shaky sometimes. There you go. Sweet. Well, welcome to Cano Palma. Um, I hope you had a good trip here. It can be a little rocky sometimes, uh, getting on the public transport and all that. But uh, I think I'll show you around a little bit on the boat dock if you don't mind. So uh, these are some of the boats that we use for the surveys here. The one that you just got out of, this was the Kinkachu. And that one over there is the Titanic. Kind of a weird name for a boat, especially considering that it sank. But hey, whatever. Whatever works. Um, this is the Peregrina. This is the only one that has the motor. It's the one we used to go back and forth from town. And we've also got the two double kayaks over here and the one uh, single kayak on the other side. So these uh, few boats, including all the kayaks, are the ones that we use to go to and from the beach. And on the beach is where we do a lot of our turtle work, all the surveys, beach profile, shorebirds, a lot of other different really cool and really neat stuff that we do here at the station. Um, you'll definitely get a chance to do everything while you're here. How long are you here for? Oh, that's great. I've been here for like two months myself and I've really enjoyed my stay. Uh, where are you from? Oh, awesome. Yeah, I'm from Canada. That's about it. I gotta say for the boat dock. So uh, if you want to head into the kitchen, see what's cooking, there's always somebody in there to talk to. So uh, I hope you have fun and uh, take as much in as you can. Yo soy Raúl, soy de España. Oh, sorry, it's better if I speak in English. So, uh, my name is Raúl. I'm from Spain. I'm biologist. I'm here in charge of the marine turtle project with my friend Nadia. Nadia, are you here? No, maybe it's working. But she said it's working. And so this is our schedule. And now I'm going to introduce you a little bit in the kitchen in the office. Okay? So follow me, please. This is the kitchen. Very nice. This is the office, okay? Here is where we work. This is the station with the volunteers and the interns. And here, Nadia and me work all day in this little corner. This is the old house. We are more time in this corner than in every other side of the station. And this is the equipment that we use for the work with the turtles. Taggers, uh, removers, tags. All the necessary things for those studies. And the computers. Very, very important, okay? So, this box, for example, is for the process the snakes, for the birds, for the snake you have the hooks to, so all the things that you can use is there, okay? All the mess you taste, all the mornings in the beach, very important. And now, this is all that we have. This is the tables. You can see all the people here eating, not working, but it's not matter. Here is a very good place for talk and something, and it's the place that normally is all the people. And we have a very, we have a very good time here. So now I leave you with Paul. Paul go to show you the library. And remember, if you know the ring, you can dance with the carpet. Also, where we do all of our training for our turtle bonding program, and uh, this is where we'll process any snakes. Uh, over here in back, we have these two dry boxes where we keep all of our books. Um, in here is for reference material and nonfiction books, and in here we have uh, just fiction, recreational reading books, stuff that people have uh, left and gifted to us over the years. Um, and up here we have a lot of uh, specimens that we found uh, on the basin on the beach. Um, that's about it for the library. Um, uh, I'd recommend uh, checking out the uh, showers and laundry. That would be something that. Becca, 
I've been here for two months. I'm leaving in a couple of days here. I'm just doing my laundry today. So we have two washing machines here at the station uh, that we use. Your clothes get really dirty here from doing turtle work. You get a lot of sand on them. So you're doing laundry quite frequently. We have a washer for personal clothing. Um, so all the sandy stuff. And then we also have a new washing machine for sheets and towels, um, stuff like that. We do communal laundry for the sheets, so it's really efficient. Um, and then the personal laundry you can just do whenever you want and you can hang it up wherever. We also have a washing station to get all the sand out of our clothes because your clothes will not get clean unless you um, clean them out first, but it's a fairly efficient system. It works really well. And then just behind us, we have three showers. Um, they're good, they're cold water, but they're really nice um, when you get home because you're super sweaty. So yeah, it's a very good system. studying applied biology at Haas University and I'm studying here at the howler monkeys and I will show you around at the dorms. This is the sink. Um, everybody's brushing their teeth there and we have two toilets outside the dorms. One is inside the dorms and then I will show you the inside of the dorm. But we have to be quiet because during the day everybody uh, can still sleep. We have six rooms and there is space for 32 people. And this is my bed. So you see three beds, double beds. Uh, everybody is having their mosquito nets. And we really need it because there are a lot of mosquitoes and this is the dorms and I hope to see you soon. Bye! Je n'en veux pas, donnez-moi une limousine, j'en ferai quoi pa, pa, da, pa, 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 da. Offrez moi du personnel, j'en ferai quoi Un manoir à Neuchâtel, ce n'est pas pour moi, offrez moi la tour Eiffel, j'en ferai quoi Welcome to Kennel Fallon. Uh, here, let me give you a hand out of the boat. A little unsteady sometimes. Woo! <laughs> 